Hi guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Jennifer Hudson tragedy. My heart, my condolences, and my prayers go out to her and her entire family. I lost a mother, so I know how painful that can be. I have siblings that I love dearly, and I couldn't imagine losing them that way. I have a young son. I couldn't imagine losing him, let alone losing him that way. But Jennifer Hudson and her family are not the only families out there that have experienced that type of loss. It's not rare. It's not. And it's very unfortunate. So to the families that have lost loved ones, the same way my hearts go out to you because you don't get news coverage you don't get websites dedicated to your loved one's memory you don't get internet blogs about you you're lucky if you get a 15 minute blurb I'm sorry 15 second blurb on the local news And I'm so sorry, and it's so unfortunate that it has become so common in our society today. In Chicago, we are well on our way to having 500 murders committed for the year. And guess what, people? The year isn't over with. So that means by the time December 31st rolls around, we will have well over 500 murders committed for the year. It just amazes me what people will do and what they're capable of. So to all of the families out there that have ever lost a loved one tragically, senselessly like this, my prayers and my hearts go out to you and I say, know that God can do anything. Know that God is a God that specializes in the impossible. And he can fix any situation that looks like it cannot be fixed. Sisters, I say this to you. You need to be careful about who you are allowing into your lives, into your hearts, into your homes, around your children, around your family, your friends, and your pets. I mean, honestly. Are you that lonely and desperate and your self-esteem is that low that you would take the first thing that comes along in your life? Are you? Is it that important for you to have someone in your bed at night is it that you're willing to sacrifice your life and possibly the lives of those that are close and near and dear to you? Is it that important? Hmm? I mean, really, I hear so many stories about how women get involved with these crazy ass men that molest their children, that kill their children, and that sometimes killed them, their family members, their friends, whatever. I mean, but is it that important? Is your self-esteem so low that you will take anything that comes your way? You don't see the value in who you are? A lot of the times I think that people don't know exactly who they are because if they did, they would not do the things that they do and make the choices that they make. I don't care if you're big, little, light, dark, long hair, short hair, three eyes, 12 toes, I don't care. You are unique and you are special and you are to be loved and cherished. And only you can see that. My mother used to always tell me, 
She used to always say, if you don't think you something, nobody else is going to think you something. You have to know that you are worthy of having love in your life. And I'm not talking about that convict love, that I'm paroled and unemployed love, and I will kill your mama, your brother, and your child love. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the love where you can love someone and they can love you. And when you love someone, they will protect you and be in your corner always. They couldn't fathom doing anything wrong to you because they love you so much. You have to see yourself worthy of having that love. Because if you don't, then you will continue to make choices that will endanger your life and the lives of everyone around you. Jennifer Hudson's sister is going to have to forever live with the fact that she made the choice of being with someone like that. I'm not knocking brothers, okay, that have been in jail. Because there are a lot of brothers out there that have done their, that have committed a crime, done their time. Whether they did it or not, because some brothers are even there on bogus charges, but have paid their debt to society and are now out and being productive citizens. But this was not the case, okay? This was somebody that she knew was crazy. Sisters, you know that a man is crazy way before you marry him. You know that he's psychotic way before you have his baby and you even know something wrong with him before you go out with him I mean teeny tiny story met a guy in a grocery store every time I talked to him this is, I didn't even go out with him um, he this was some years ago too um, didn't go out with him but every time I was on the phone with him he was in an altercation with somebody I'd only talked to him like three times. Every time he was in an altercation with a stranger. I'm thinking like, oh my God, what's really going on? That was a sign of him being crazy. So therefore, there was no need for me, <clears throat> excuse me, to take that situation any further because there was a sign that this man was touched. He was not right. So if he's not right, and at that time, I was single, I was lonely, I wanted somebody in my life, but I also knew that I was better than that. I knew that I didn't have to just accept the first thing that came along in my life because I was lonely and I wanted to get my booty rubbed. I knew that. Look, there ain't a dick under the sun that God created that is worth your life and the lives of your friends and loved ones it ain't out there ladies I don't you can look under rocks trees things I don't care where you look you can circle the world over and over again in a boat and you will never find a dick out there that's worth the life of yourself and your family and your friends it's not out there it don't exist don't look for it Ladies, love yourselves. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you think about yourself personally. Every day when you get up in the morning, you need to tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am worthy of love. And I will find that love when God decides that it's time for me to find that love. Women are so intimidated about being alone that they will accept absolutely anything into their life. Willing to take a chance. But see, the problem is, is that you're not just taking a chance that if the relationship works out or not, you're taking a chance with your life, with the life of your children. Love your children more. Say that I'm not going to allow just anybody in my home, anybody in my baby's life, anybody in my life, because I don't know what's going on with them. I need to protect me. I need to protect my family. I need to do that because we are mothers. We are... We are the teachers. We teach our children how to be, how to be productive members of society. They watch us and they know what we do. So sisters, I say to you, protect your babies. 
Protect your children, protect yourself, and love yourself.